Hi everyone, I hope you're having an awesome vacation. I thought for the fun of it we'd add Try by Pink for ukulele because it's a really nice easy song to do. I'm using fingers but if you want to use a pick, not an issue, your choice. And um, my fingers are numbered, try and make sure you use the same numbers too. And also with this video you'll notice there's two links. Okay, the one link you've obviously clicked and you're busy watching me saying hello. And the second link is actually to the song Try by Pink. Okay, now in the beginning there's a piano which goes something like this. And there's a long wait. One, two, three, four. And you wait two and three and four and three, four. One, two, three, four. So the riff is actually really, really easy. There's two riffs actually, each only three notes. Now, if you look over here, the first three notes all on the bottom string. Pinkies are number five, ring finger number three, number four, finger number three, fret number four, finger number one on the second fret. Now, I'm picking with my first finger, not my thumb. For those that like using the thumb, please don't do that. I'm asking so nicely. Okay, so either use a plectrum like this, so you can use one of those and you go like this. Or you can use your first finger, but please not the thumb. First finger. And I'm going to count two, three, four, and then we play this first phrase. Are we ready? One, two, three, four, and... And then there's a long pause if you listen to the original. And the next phrase, also three notes, is going to be... The zero is the open string, that's why I put my first finger out the way. Shouldn't go that far. And you finish off on string two, fret two as the last note. So the last three notes, you'll notice there I didn't move my hand very far. Okay. And we're going to put them together, and again, very long pause between the two phrases. I'm going to count to four, and I'd like you to play through with me. Are we ready? One, two, three, four, and three, four. One, two, three, four. Three and four, and one, two, three, four. Three, four, one, two, three, and four, and so it's a really cool, fun tune to play along with if you've got the YouTube channel going. Okay, next up, four chords, and then at the bottom of the PDF file is the verse rhythm and the chorus rhythm. On your chord diagrams as well, you'll notice with the B minor there's a thick red line. Don't strum that string. Okay, otherwise you have to play B minor like a bar chord and that isn't that much fun. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put finger one flat across bottom three strings. We're not strumming the top. And your rhythm, if you look at verse rhythm, is going to sound like this. One and two and so it's basically four down strums. One and two and. Third beat, nothing happens and you change to G. I'm sure you're all familiar with G by now. And you're going to strum and four. So if I put those together, I'm going to have this slow motion. B minor and G. One, two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Or super slow. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. The next line you're going to go to D, which is not easy because normally you play D like that. And again, on the diagram is that thick red line we spoke about, which means we can not play this note and we just play the bottom three. And you change to A, which I'm sure you know. Finger one and finger two, and that can be all four strings. So on the second time round, D and A share the same rhythm as B minor and G. So combining it, we should have something like this. Already, here comes super slow motion. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and that 
and your target speed should be something like this one and two and three and four and and the two verse okay for the chorus she goes a bit more louder and you'll see the chorus rhythm is all down strums but if you want to go one and two and three and four and which is slow motion down up down up down up down up i'm cool with that too so if you're chorus rhythm you can either go one and two and three and four and all down strums because it's a nice strong driving rhythm or if you want to you can go the down up down up down up down up root one and two and three and four and it also works but for the chorus each of the chords the entire bar and you'll notice the chorus starts with a G. G is in place, there's my G, here's the rhythm, sequence is G, D, A, B minor, and it should sound something like this slow motion if you want to play through with me. Here comes the chorus, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And if I do the same thing with down ups instead, if it feels more comfortable, that's the important thing. If it feels comfortable, do it. Either way is fine. A little bit faster this time. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and and then it has to go quick back to the intro tune so listen to the song it's a really pretty song it's nice and positive nice words um okay never give up we always try and you got a nice cool riff nice long weights and you got cool chords to know with nice rhythms too if you have any questions don't hesitate to drop me a whatsapp looking forward to hearing from you otherwise enjoy the week have an awesome one take care thank you bye